My fiancé told her best friend that she was not engaged and made him a backup, so I told her that she should consider herself single. My now ex-fiancé and I got engaged three weeks ago. We've been dating for five years and I finally got the money to give her the wedding she wanted. Well, three days ago we were discussing our guest list, and I asked if she wanted to invite her best friend, let's call him James, M30. James lives in another state, but since they were friends for 10 years, I thought I could even pay for his travel expenses since it would be great to have her best friend at the wedding. She denied it, saying that it would take a lot of work to bring him and she wanted to be a family event. Countless times she mentioned that James was like family to her, so I insisted, she got annoyed and said I didn't even tell him we were engaged. That took me by surprise, I tried to ask why, but she started stonewalling me, and I left her alone. After a couple of hours, I tried to ask her again why she hadn't told him we were engaged, and she still refused to tell me, and I admit, my insecurity got the better of me. In the past, James had confessed he had feelings for her, which she turned down and basically friendzoned him. But by the way, she told me, it always sounded like she had him as a backup something not only me, but her exes realized. She married him online, they always made the WoW characters look like a couple, like wearing the same transmon and poop like that. When she had a fight with her exes, he was always there for her and etc. I told her that made me uncomfortable and if she was not planning to tell him, she might as well consider herself single, cause I would not marry someone who couldn't be honest. Yes, I was pretty immature, but she did something even more immature, she texted him while showing me her phone something like hey, just so you know, I was engaged, but not anymore and sent it to him. I told her to pack her things and leave my house. Ever since she left, she has been calling me, but I refused to answer. My mom called me, because she apparently called my mom, and, said that I was an asshole for ending things for such a ridiculous thing. Update, I want to clarify a few things. As commented on my original post, I paid for the house since I bought it before dating her and I asked her to move in, since it was close to her job. I work from home since I'm in tech, but she had to go to work, that's why I paid for her car, to help her commute, and honestly her salary is poop. I was her partner, so I didn't see any problem with that. I thought she was the one, despite everything, she is smart, funny, and we had chemistry, but I felt betrayed. To the update, we met at a coffee shop on the premise we would discuss how to save our relationship, at least, that's what she thought. As soon as we sat down, I asked to see their messages. She got defensive immediately and told me she had deleted everything. I asked to see her phone anyway. She started to cry, ugly cry, asking me to stop. At that point, I had already decided I was not going to be part of the relationship anymore, but damn, I was curious. It took a good 20 minutes for her to hand me her phone, a lot of crying, even a waitress asking her if she was okay. So I read the messages. There wasn't any cheating like nudes being exchanged, them professing their love for each other, but what I read still stung. There was a lot of poop talking about me. A lot. Texts and texts of them saying how terrible of a person I was, criticizing my hobbies, I like video games and pro wrestling, saying I wasn't a real man because of them and stuff like that. But two topics caught my eye. One where she had told him I was having trouble getting hard and that was frustrating for her. And one where she was complaining about how she didn't want to be stuck in our relationship. Yes, I was having problems in bed. Because I was sad because my father had passed away, six months ago, and the stuck thing, I remember telling her that when we got married, if she wanted she could leave her job, and I would, provide for both of us. I don't know if she took this the wrong way, but I guess it was related to that. I honestly don't know. By the time I gave her the phone back, she was already giving excuses on why she was saying those things to him, how he was like a therapist for her, and then she asked me don't you complain about me to your friends, and I simply replied, no, I don't. She started crying again. I took a pretty deep breath and just said just give me the ring back, I didn't have the ring with me, like some suggested. She hesitated a bit but gave it to me anyway. I stood up and asked her to delete my number and to not bother me anymore. I called her mom and asked her to pick up her daughter's stuff at my place. Her mom is a good person, I'm just realizing I'm going to miss her as I write this. She understood why I decided to end it, but she didn't ask much, and to be honest, I'm glad she didn't. As for my mom, I didn't call her, I just blocked her for things unrelated to this post, I just realized she never had my back in anything, I was always trying to save an already failed Momsen relationship. Before I leave, I just want to clarify, I was never against her having male friends or any type of friends. People are going to cheat, friends or no friends. I remember my dad saying something to me when I was a teenager, he always said opportunity makes the thief, but I do not agree with that. Anyway, since I have the next two weeks off work, I'm going to figure out what to do with the wedding money, drink some booze, play games, and watch Monday Night Raw later. Peace. Edit. A couple of people are asking about the car. Is a 2015 Nissan Versa which she crashed two times, both times she rear-ended someone. Never liked the car, weak engine, and the interior feels cheap and overall bad, so for all I care she can keep that piece of poop. I would have more luck throwing it off a cliff than selling it. Edit 2. Little update. Her mom called me a few hours. A go to check on me and to ask when she could come and pick up her ex's stuff. We spoke about the car and she basically forbade me to let her daughter keep the car because, one, I paid for it. Two, ex wouldn't be able to maintain it. So I'm going to keep the car until I'm able to sell it. God help me. Update 2. I thought about my engagement a lot, and I have no regrets whatsoever. Yeah, things ended badly and she was not a good person to me at the end, but I just don't hate her, nor do I wish for her to fail. We had good moments, I felt happy with her and again I really thought she was the one. Felling hatred was going to harm me more than her. To the update, her mom came to pick up her stuff and we talked for hours, it felt like therapy. I cried on her shoulders, we laughed, and she expressed how much I meant to her family, and that I would be always welcome in her home. It felt so good to hear her say those things to me. Before she left she asked me if I wanted to ask about my ex, I got curious and asked how she was doing. Her words were she's trying to act stoic, but I know my daughter, she's not taking this well. I left it at that, she gave me a hug and left. About the car, I'm going to donate it and get a tax write-off. But to the thing I'm excited about, is that I'm going to Royal Rumble, 
I never even watched Raw or SmackDown Live, but now that I have the extra cash, I'm going to treat myself.